Okay, so welcome back everyone. Today's video is regarding how to cut for competition and specifically how to gut cut and water cut. Uh, this is just not a normal explanation video. So the first part of the video that's behind me, the board and all, is going to be uh, the informative part. I, t I tell you what quantities or what body weight for what calories, the information part. The second half of the video, the bigger part of the video is going to be the whole journey, the four day journey uh, of how I track my body weight morning and all the tips and tricks to get through this whole gut and water gut phase. All right. There's a lot of information out there, but there is nothing like what I've provided. Now, first talking about the methods of cutting. All right. That's number one. In the ways of cutting, there are six ways in total, according which is good for a power lifter. All right. There might be more uh, ways like puking out or something. I'm not putting that in the board. The first one is called dieting down. All right, acute cut. So basically, imagine I'm 40 days out and I am a 74 lifter, all right? And I'm 77 kilos right now and I'm 40 days out. Let's imagine. I wouldn't say cutting from 77 to 74 is the easiest thing. So I would normally suggest myself to cut down to 76 kilos, right? Normal cut. Because what I'm going to explain later, the gut and the water cut is just for four days. So Till the reset four date, I want to reach to 76 by dieting down. And how do I do this? Either increase my activity, that is my workout or by walking. Uh, I would suggest you minimum when you're dieting down to do 10,000 steps, not to do uh, running because any sorts of, you know, running or air bike, that sort of cardio is very intense and might take a toll on your performance. Walking, in fact, on the other hand, is very beneficial to you. You will actually inf increase your performance because your recovery increases. So minimum 10,000, 10 to 15,000 steps. All right. So one way is increasing activity. Second is decreasing calories. All right. By avoiding junk and taking uh, your calories a little below, below your maintenance calories. And you're seeing your weight drop in the 30, 35 days period you see it drop to 76 that's called dieting down all right this method will not necessarily uh, take a if it's a very small cut and you're doing it smartly because when you're cutting that's a whole different video if you're doing it smartly you will not see a strength loss you might see difference in your leverage because you're losing a kilo fine that's dieting down now important thing what i am going to cover today is the gut cut and the water cut all right i'll get to the rest so basically the order i've written the stuff all the uh, six methods is number one being the easiest and the less it takes least toll on your strength so your strength levels won't get affected number six being your strength levels will be affected the most all right remember one thing whenever you're cutting weight if the range of cutting weight is three to four percent of your body weight you cross that you're going to see a drop in uh, strength levels and six year definitely you're going to have some problems with your strength levels on meat day and this is especially for people that have to our veins, all right. Gut cut, what is gut cut, all right. Basically, we all have a lot of food. We either eat non veg, we eat veg vegetables, we eat rice. Which, in a day, in today's date, I would probably be eating two kilos of whole food, all right. And that sits in your stomach. It, it's not like when you shit, everything comes out. A lot of the remains sit in your stomach, all right. And that is not water, that is not fat, that is not muscle, that is has nothing to do with your strength levels. And this is why we through gut cut, we get rid of it. It's not going to affect your strength levels. All right. And how do we do that? I'll get to it later. All right. Next is water cut. Our body is mainly a lot of water there in it. So the easiest thing is to lose water. Now there are many ways to lose water. All of this come kind of come in the same bracket. All right. Of losing water. Now this is the, the uh, water cut takes the least. Uh, the, the method I'm going to tell you takes the least toll. Basically, you do a process called water loading where you trick your body to peeing a lot and then you cut water the last day so your body continues peeing and that's a very minute amount. It's not, it's probably your body removes another one liter. That's it. All right. It's not a big deal. Next is fiber and salt manipulation. Salt. So one thing you need to do is salt holds water. So when you manipulate salt, if you have too much salt, you'll be holding too much water and if you have too less it won't hold too much water so you can lose but the thing is you need salt you need salt for your hydration and you know all your electrolytes to be balanced because on media you will cramp otherwise all right so till now in my whole journey i'm not elite i'm pretty i'm going there but till the date i've only done one two three i've never gone to four five six and i don't want to go to four five six all right number five sauna sauna is basically a room which is very hot and uh, so you basically sweat out 
Steam is the same thing, but uh, it's a hot room, but there's vapor coming and that releases more water from body. All right. So I would say for people watching this, please don't try this. These three are the easiest. Obviously do this. This is for every beginner. Just try dieting down. Don't try two and three for people who are getting more competitive two and three. Now I'm going to explain to you the whole process together, the gut and water cut process in on board. And after that, you'll see the whole journey in a vlog. All right. So now this is all the information of the gut cut. I will talk about the water cut right after this. Now let's get into it. So now imagine I'm taking for example, 2000, imagine I'm having 2600 calories every day. All right. You're supposed to take the same amount of calories you've been having for the past three, four weeks. Uh, imagine if my competition on 25th, whatever I had on first, second, I'm having 2600 calories. It should be a constant calorie. All right. So imagine I'm, I, I, I'm eating 2600 calories. Two third of this calories, two third of this calories are of this 2600 calories will be whey and salted almonds, whey and salted almonds. All right. So according to the math, two third of 2600 is 1733. All right. So do your math. I'm letting, I'm giving you the uh, information. So what are the calories you choose? Do two into two divided by three, that many calories. Okay. Hold that number, write that number down. Now, out of this number, uh, 1733, 60% of this calories come from salted almonds and 40% come from whey. All right. So whatever number you got here, do into 0 0.6, you'll get a number. For me, it's 1039. It feels like I'm teaching math, honestly, but whatever. 1039. So 1039 calories come from salted almonds. All right. And 693. So whatever number you've got here, do in, into 0 0.4. That number, so that for me, it is 693 calories come from whey. All right. So 1039 calories salt almond, 693 calories whey. So now imagine for me personally, I use uh, big muscles whey uh, and I only use gold whey. They have other ways, nitrogen and zero. I personally haven't uh, got a lab test in myself. So I am not going to promote something I don't use or uh, I'm not tested out. This is what I used because I'm making this video after the whole process. This is what I use for the cut. Now, uh, for in, in this protein, 37 gram uh, of uh, protein has 1030 calories. All right. So basically just, just scan your protein box. All right. And uh, put uh, and make sure you're having 693 calories. So for me, if I'm using this protein, 693 calories of whey protein is uh, around six scoops in this protein and 1039 calories of salt almonds is around 150 gram. All right. So uh, six, so six scoops of protein come up to around 250 gram. I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll tell, I'll talk about it later. All right. I'll explain to you this later, but remember this is around 250 gram this is around 150 gram. All right. Okay. So I've done with the two, uh, two third of the calories. Now I'll address the other one third of the calories. All right. So basically what you do, 2600 divided by three. So you get one third of the calories. For me, it is 867 calories. And what is 867 calories are going to be carbs, high density carbs. All right. It's not going to be banana, rice, not bread. It's not these things. High density carbs are carbs that are very dense and very sugary, high in calories, high in sugar, basically cookies, cookies, ice cream. I would suggest this go for Oreos and any uh, kind of high calorie sugary biscuit. Don't try any, don't try anything else. All right. Now this is your uh, distribution of what calories in terms of salted almond, whey and carbs. So this is the only food that you'll be having. All right. Now, when are you supposed to do this right here? So gut cut is only for three days. Imagine your competitions on 25th. All right. You have to do it on 22nd, 23rd and 24th. It's only for three days. All right. Gut cut, gut cut, gut cut. And on the last of the gut cut, that is 24th. All right. I want you to finish it 15 hours before your weigh in time. 15 hours before your weigh in time. Imagine uh, on 25th, 8.30 a.m. is my weigh in. On 24th at 5.30 p.m. I'll finish uh, all my gut cut and water cut stuff. The water cut I'll explain now. All right. This is the gut cut. Now I will teach you what is water cut and then I will put both of them together. Okay. All right. So now since I finished the gut cut, I'm going to show you about the water cut. All right. 
so in the water cut x okay x is basically how much water we normally drink so i'm not talking about the past few days in daily every day in my normal life i drink 4 liter of water so my body is used to 4 liter of water right so x is basically the normal water normal water consumption what you normally consume for me it's 4 liter so i've written 4 liter all right i've written 4 liter now let's imagine your competitions on 25th all right so 21 20 to 20 24 all right your the whole water cutting that is water load water cut process starts 4 days out so it's a four day unlike unlike the gut cut uh, the water load is a four day process not a three day process all right 1 2 3 4 so on 21st you're going to have double the amount of the normal water you're consuming so 2x all right so that's 8 liter normally i drink 4 liter so i'm having double the water on 21st four days out that's 8 liter same goes with 22nd and 23rd i'm having 8 liter so for 3 days for the first 3 days you're going to have double the amount of water you normally have so each day you're drinking 8 liter now what this does all right this basically tricks your because what one thing you'll realize you'll be at least peeing 6 7 10 times a day so you peeing so much your body now is tricked into saying that you have to keep you know excreting water that way if for the rest even for the next day all right now on 24th what we do we only sip we only sip water basically we only have the enough the water required for us to live basically uh because we'll also be doing a gut cut on that day all right and when we're doing the gut cut we are going to have six scoops of whey protein right normally two scoops of whey protein will require around 450 ml of water but you can still make the same two scoops with 200 250 ml of water right so you want to minimize the water depending on where your body weight is at that point i would say keep it sub sub 1 liter all right when i do this on 24th my water consumption is sub 1 liter all right so basically 24th you basically sip all right what is sip is basically you just have enough water that for living because you'll be doing a gut cut on that day as well so you're going to have you also will be having six scoops of protein normally for two scoops of protein you would require 450 ml of water but you can still have the same two scoops with only 200 250 ml of water what i like to do is keep it sub 1 liter on this day since i'm having 8 liter on 24th i keep it sub 1 liter all right and another rule same like the gut cut on 24th you need to finish all your gut cut the eating thing and the sipping water whatever 15 hours before your vein so imagine uh, your veins on uh, 25th at 8:30 am 5:30 pm on 24th you finish everything right and to relate the gut cut and water cut you will be doing if your competition 25th you will be doing the gut cut on 24 23 22 21 you won't be doing gut cut you will just be doing the water load the water load so this 8 liter 3 days 8 liter 8 liter 8 liter comes under water load and water cut is the sipping all right now let me just th- talk about a little bit science behind it uh so water load you guys have understood you're just going to you're tricking your body to excrete the water what is the science behind the gut cut all right so basically on a normal day i am eating 2 kilos of food right now i am still going to eat 2600 calories i'm still consuming the same amount of protein I'm, i was consuming before in the 2600 calories through whey and almonds only the fat and ratios are up uh, move around and it doesn't matter because for the last 3 days we none of us are lifting heavy all right so we are having the same calories so we're not going to lose any uh, muscle or because we are having the same protein also we're not losing any muscle fat that is going to happen only thing is instead of having 2 kilo of food because like i said the uh, the whey protein comes up to only 250 g the almonds come to 150 g so do the math that's like 400 g and the carbs will come up to another 200 g that's 600 g from 2 kilos of food you're just having 600 g of food so that itself has a drop of 1.4 kilos right and then obviously the water uh, water cut water load process is also going to make you lose weight so this was the whole process now you're going to see the whole uh, it's going to be a kind of a vlog and all the tips and tricks that i use throughout the journey right okay so good morning 
आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग अबाउट गट एंड वाटर कट सो अब ये होल प्रोसेस यू गाइज विल गेट टू सील इन लाइफ तो आज फिफ्थ अप्रैल है आई एम फोर डेज आउट ऑफ माई मीट फिफ्थ अप्रैल वाटर लोड नॉर्मल फूड सिक्स अप्रैल वाटर लोड गट कट सेवेंथ अप्रैल वाटर लोड गट कट एथ अप्रैल वाटर कट गट कट ऑल राइट तो फर्स्ट लेट सी विथ वॉट वेट आई एम स्टार्टिंग माई कट आई विल मेजर माई वेट आई विल शो यू द होल प्रोसेस आई डोंट थिंक सो अभी तक यूट्यूब में ऐसा वीडियो बना है नॉर्मली सिर्फ एक्सप्लेशन कैसा गट कट करते हैं या कैसा वाटर लोड करते हैं पर द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ वॉट आई एम डूइंग हाउ आई एम डूइंग इट एंड वॉट मे हैपन यू गाइज विल सी इन दिस होल वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट टू इट All right so let's check my body weight now All right so I actually weighed in at 75 or 95 in the morning and not 76 I drank a little water in the morning before I started the video but since today is day 1 there is no uh, gut cut there's only water load basically I have to drink 8 liter I'll get into it later and I have to have my normal food that is 2600 calories the same food that you've been having the whole prep all this time don't randomly have anything because different foods will have different amounts of volume in your stomach all right so this is my breakfast this is meal 1 okay i don't know if you can see me but uh, another very imp important tip so firstly try to get a 2 liter bottle i don't have a 2 liter bottle right now so i'm using a 1 liter bottle and uh, you need to when whenever you're doing a water load so i personally have to drink 8 liter of water every day and in the past one thing i've learned that you will tend to uh, not make a plan and you won't be that disciplined with and you'll tend to keep all the water to the end of the day and you'll have to force drink instead of that make a good plan so i made a plan and so i have 8 liter and i'm using a 1 liter bottle this is why i've written it in increments of 1 liter so my goal is by 1 pm i'm supposed to be done with 1 liter by 2 pm i'm supposed to be done with 2 liter then i gave a, gave a small break by 4 pm i'm supposed to be done with 3 liter the same way i went down till by 11 pm i'm supposed to be done with the 8 liter so now this really helps in uh, not forcing yourself to drink the water your water at the end of the night or staying up late till 1 2 3 am cuz just cuz you have to finish the water Honestly, this is the first time I'm doing this shit because I always tend to screw up whatever I'm telling you. So I don't want to do it this time, and this is a very good tip for you guys. All right, all, uh, all right. Hopefully, you guys can see me. So I'm eating my meal one, and I have my drink here. So this is a very big pro tip. I've always used this. Buy any E W A that you want. I personally use uh, Big Muscles uh, Essential E W A, the cola flavor. amazing so why to use it number 1 i am drinking 8 liter of water some people i know have to drink 9 10 liter and it gets really hard to drink plain water and number 1 it tastes amazing that's number 1 number 2 it has a hydration blend all right so which is good when because you'll be peeing a lot also your salts will be going on out of your body so by putting this very beneficial so highly recommend if you obviously want to support me or get a percentage off one of them You score BM Aaron at checkout when you're getting this, but definitely the cola flavor. I I have tried the other flavors. This is my favorite flavor, the cola flavor. All right, so went for shopping, got my salted almonds and all the biscuits and everything for the gut cut for tomorrow. I did not get my Gatorade and my gummy bear. which i need for competition so i'll probably order that online this is for my last meal rice chicken curd a uh, pro tip enjoy your last meal because for the next 3 days when you're going to do gut cut it's just going to be salted almonds whey and all this uh, cookies which is uh, very sweet and uh, it's going to be very boring so you'll be craving for savory for like proper whole food so this is the last meal that i'm going to get and after eating this i still have 1 liter remaining after that i will weigh myself and then i'll see you tomorrow after that okay so this is the night body weight it's going to be very heavy
yeah so we're ending with 79.6 not to worry because we drank 8 liter of water today okay so good morning everyone today is day two of the gut cut water load so yesterday i slept at 79.6 kilos uh, and it was really heavy because obviously the normal food the food bait is going to be there and uh, 8 liters of water so today what we're going to do we're going to have 8 liters of water the same uh, amount of water but no more normal food for the next three days so we'll be having the gut cut food that is salted almonds whey protein and uh, high density carbs that is the cookies which i'll show you guys now before i start eating or drinking anything let me check my i went to the washroom obviously always calculate your body weight after going using the washroom that is so now i'm going to check my weight do not be shocked i'm talking for you guys it might not be there for me it might be there for me do not be shocked if your weight is very heavy today there's a very big chance it's going to go over uh what i started with two reasons uh, obviously one is the eight liter and the normal food weight and the second thing i didn't even have a workout yesterday to lose water so let's see how much weight i lost because i slept at 79.6 i feel i'll at least lose 1.5 kilos from now to morning on let's check all right so let's check the body weight 76.75 so i think i lost almost 3 kilos fuck so according uh, to the weight scale I lost almost 3 kilos from night to body weight and this was this we haven't even started the gut cut so let's see how it goes so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat for the entire day and which protein I'm going to use uh yeah okay so I don't know if you can uh, see what's written over here this portion uh, I will if you can if you guys can't see I'm just going to put a small screenshot of it So basically for today I have 2600 calories in the beginning of the video I've already explained the math right so I eat 2600 calories every day so today also I'm going to have 2600 calories but not whole food so today according to the math according to the calculations given you I have to have 1040 calories of salted almonds so salted almonds obviously because Uh, we don't want to lose too much salt in the body because we're already cutting weight. So this bag is 150 gram, and it exactly has 1,040 calories. Mm -hmm. wow. So basically, for today, I have to eat this whole bag of salted almonds. Now coming to protein, I need six, six ninety-three calories of protein. Now I personally, I use Big Muscle Whey Protein. I'm using the Belgian chocolate flavor. Uh, this whey protein. Has 25 gram protein per scoop and 11 gram of EWA serving. And if you guys want other better flavors as well, right now I'm using Belgian chocolate because my Malai Kulfi is over. But I really like Malai Kulfi, so highly recommend uh, Malai Kulfi flavor. Now in 693 calories, I have to have which is equal to 220 gram of Big Muscle Whey protein. All right, that is six scoops. So I need to have six scoops of whey protein today to complete my protein requirements all right next comes carbs carbs i need 867 calories of carbs so 8 6 7 what am i going to eat for this high density carbs like i said high density carbs are basically sorry are basically sugary items all right so let me show a few items best options oreos and these biscuits so basically choose foods that are very high in sugar all right high calorie and high in sugar like the sugary foods so honestly as an indian i most of, most of the audience watching are indian you're going to get this and in any part of the world you're going to get oreos so you can just use this uh pro tip freeze these oreos they test they test really 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 good yeah so these are basically my high density carbs that i'm going to be eating for the rest of the day later i'll talk about how i'm dividing them uh maybe in tomorrow's video i will tell you how i split uh, these calories in each meal right yeah so finally back on the gym 10 on 10 vibe gym's name is babel therapy x saber amazing owners if you guys are in bangalore or wherever you are just move to bangalore you need and if you're a powerlifter you for sure you need to train here 
uh, it's around the Hennur area. Uh, he- sorry, Hebel. I'm, I'll I'll make a review on it, so I'll tell you exact location. But it's near Mania the Tech Bazaar. I'm from sure. I loved it when I'm coming back from Open Nationals. I'm training there only for sure. Now since I'm back, I finished my salted almonds, and I for the carbs last few carbs I took chips. So now uh, another tip, you might get really bored with uh, the sweet Oreos and the cookies because even the way because this I'm I'm having my last two scoops, so six scoops done, and uh, yeah you might get really bored. So you would you would be craving for something a little spicy. So you could go for chips because even chips are high density carbs, which are complex, very uh, carbs. So basically, you need to choose carbs that are very high in calories. So rice is not that because rice is not high in calories, you know. And uh, yeah, so you want want to have something, you know, fried, sugary. So chips is a good option. I would just say stick to these two options. Now I'm going to just shower quick, and then we'll check my body weight. I feel my body weight is going to be around. Seventy-eight, not seventy-nine point six like yesterday night because that's pretty heavy. Because uh, we did obviously we did the eight liter thirty as well, but we didn't do the whole food, which weighs a lot. We did the gut cut food. That's almonds, whey, and carbs. All right, so good morning. This is day three. So basically today as well, it's going to be. Water load, eight liter, and gut cut, two thousand six hundred calories through almonds, protein, and carbs. All right. So yesterday, I think I'm not sure. I slept at seventy seven point five. I think seventy seven point five ish. So today, I feel I'll lose around two kilos. Let's see how much I weigh. Ah, uh, so now remember a few things. Today, so I started the cut at seventy five point nine five. Right. And you'll be like, Aaron, this is day three. Tomorrow's day four. There are chances that you still haven't gone under seventy-five point nine five even today. All right, because don't forget, you've been drinking eight liter. I drank eight liter yesterday. Even today, I'm going to drink eight liter. Leave today, but I drank eight liter yesterday. Sometimes it takes your time, body, for uh, you know, to excrete all the water because it will come out. Don't worry. Alright, so seventy-five point seven five. I did almost lose almost two kilos. Um, luckily, I've already gone under uh, what I started. So I started at seventy-five point nine five, and I'm already seventy-five point seven five. Even though I drank eight liter water yesterday, and the only reason is because of the gut cut. Uh, because of the you know we're not having whole food, we're having normal food now. And it's still a lot of water in my body. So today again, I'm going to do the gut cut uh, and uh, water load uh, and wa- uh, water load. So basically, whatever uh, gut the waste is still there in my stomach from uh, all the previous d- uh, days, like four or five days back, the food that I've eaten because everything doesn't come out. That's going to come out by tomorrow or day after, and uh, we're going to trick our body into peeing a lot even today. So tomorrow we'll be sipping and we lose all the water. Yeah, so this is what my breakfast looks like today. Almonds. I finished couple of Oreos, couple of biscuits, and basin ladu has a lot of sugar. I think in every hundred gram it has seventy gram of sugar, so it's a very good option. But bro, at this point, you already will start feeling. You'll be. You'll be. You'll feel fed up. Even if you have a sweet, if you don't have a sweet, or you're screwed doing this because you won't like it at all. I am someone that likes sweet, but. This sucks. Like you, you start feeling bored, and it's not the most fun thing to eat always, especially salt almonds. I don't know what to say, bro. So you just have to keep going, obviously. So you guys saw my night body weight was seventy eight ish kilos. So now I'm seventy eight kilos. I'm like damn, four more kilos to lose. See, do not get scared. You drank eight liter water. 
different bodies have different ways of excreting it out all right now today is day four today is the last day today is basically gut cut and uh, water cut all right so basically what i'll be doing today the normal gut cut food that i've been having for the past two days same calories but there's a catch i need to finish all my liquid and my meals by 6 to 7 pm my veins at 2 pm tomorrow right unlike other days where i finished my meals at around 1 am 2 am i have to finish it by 6 to 7 pm because it needs some time to you know digest and come out from my body number one number two for the water cut so for the past three days i've been in water low drinking eight liter today is water cut i will be just sipping water so basically just enough water to consume my protein so i have to have six scoops of protein and normally a protein would suggest you to have around 450 ml of water but you can make uh uh sorry 450 ml of water for around two scoops but you can make two scoops with 300 uh, 250 ml of water as well so i want to keep my water consumption today under one liter for the member for the past three days i've been drinking eight liter and today i'm going to drink under one liter and my body should be tricked by now to be peeing like as i was drinking uh, uh water eight liter water you know the amount the frequency i was peeing my body uh, my head should be thinking that i need to continue peeing the same way today but on the other hand i'm just going to be drinking under one liter not eight liter now let's check my body uh, morning weight i'm not sure it should be under uh, a little under what i started i think i started at 75.9 it will be in the 75 ranges still nothing to be scared of even if you if you're following this protocol and i'm literally one day out tomorrow's my competition i need to fly today right i have either one if you see my weight i either have 1.5 to 2 kilos to lose but don't be scared because your body is going to excrete a lot of water right and i still have other hacks at the end so keep watching uh let's check my weight now Seventy-five point eight. All right. So after finishing all my meals at seven p.m., we came to the hotel. We checked in. We directly went to train. And let me uh, let me be transparent with you guys. I came to the hotel. I checked my weight over here, and it was seventy-five point two. All right. And then we went to train. I just had a band session. I had like three, four very light sets. And obviously, when you're going to train, you will sweat out a little. Went to train, came back and I had a shower and I haven't checked my weight yet but I'm sure I must have dropped my weight and now uh, coming to uh, this, this is my for tomorrow, my gummy bears, this is my Gatorade, my pre-workout, my citrulline marriage, this is part of my whole pre-workout and these are uh, electrolytes, I will talk about tomorrow when I wake up in the morning, I will explain to you guys about what I'm going to take, how I'm going to take and how I'm going to refeed. But before that, we will check my uh, uh, we will check my weight. And this is going to be my night weight. Remember, I started today at 76.5-ish. And let's see what's my night body weight. Normally, all these days, you have seen uh, my morning body weight is the lightest and my night body weight gets high because of drinking 8 liters of water and having all the food. Today we have had the same food finished at 7 p. but today remember it was only sipping but my body, my mind and my body was strict to peeing like the last 3 days. So I kept peeing. So today what you're going to see my night body weight is going to be lowest like lowest of all and it's going to be lower, lower than all the night body weight. So now we'll check the body weight. 74.5 So like you guys can see 74.5 it was 75.2 before I trained, lost around 700 grams because obviously you sweat out little and I think must have peed or something. It is around 12.31 am right now, so I'm going to sleep for a good 8-9 hours. My competition is at 2 pm. Obviously, 500 gram is I'm going to pee like around another 700-800 uh, uh, ml before I go to meet. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be all fine. Tomorrow in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to show you the body weight. And I will talk about all the refeed part because after doing all this, that's just part one. Part two is the refeed. All right. All right, so good morning everyone. Today is finally the last day of the cut. Today is the day of 
today's game day it's around uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon and i have my weigh in soon i'll check my weight in front of you guys but before that as you can see uh, you will look basically lean you guys will look really dry and yeah so i'll just show you my weight fast all right so i'm 73.85 so all day made weight you saw how easy the whole process was like i told you it is that easy did nothing extra i've showed you the whole process i've explained to you the whole process now this was part 1 now that's you just made weight at this point right and you will not lose strength if you do part 2 well so now this is the as all going to be in one video don't worry uh so now coming to the refeed part you okay so now basically what do you need in competition you don't need protein you don't need fats if i see a lot of people having chicken and uh, like having uh, oily stuff see firstly you need to understand oil slows down digestion not a good idea protein why will you eat chicken <laughs> because you guys are not going to build muscle intra meat right you guys are not going to build muscle so again no use what you guys need to be doing is carbs complex carbs that go to your body immediately because you guys have a 2 hour vein if you have one day vein it's a different procedure but you have a 2 hour vein so you want the carbs to get digested and absorb by body as soon as possible this according to me is the best sources so gummy bears whatever you seeing here i'm going to finish it all right uh before i get to the another pro tip so actually i'll be honest with you guys i woke up a little light here yeah, I, i woke up at 73.5 all right and i ate a little bit of gummy bears because i pre i personally prefer waking up lighter like 73.4 73.5 and just having 200 grams of gummy bear but in 200 grams of gummy bear there will at least be a uh, 60 60 70 gram of carbs that would already digest in your body by the time you're there in the vein room all right which is a good thing and you're just sacrificing 200 gram carbs now why gummy bears they're literally sugar they just going to do it's not a daily thing remember just do it for me day don't make it a habit these get absorbed very fast along with this pre workout have the uh, this is my normally what i do citral melon with uh, carnage So two scoops of this and two scoops of this is what I normally have. So this is what I'm going to normally have because if I have more, it pulls out water from your body and you will cramp in your meat. So don't do that. All right. So the procedure of having it, as soon as a vein, I take in two of these Gatorade bottles. All right. By the time I come out, I will show you guys. I am already done with it. Right. You want to finish the first two bottle in five minutes. Then have a one to two gummy pa bear packets, which I will show you. Post that. By the time you squat, you so this is 500 ml one bottle. You should at least be done with three to four packets of gummy bears and 2.5 to 3 liters. I am a 74 lifter. As you go up in weight classes, it differs. You need to get back to your training weight basically, right? This pre, all right, comes in the picture uh, around 30 minutes before you start warming up because it takes time to hit. 15-20 minutes also is fine. not a problem so i've just explained to you how i'm going to do these things yeah all right so i finished my vein 73.85 now uh company mein bahut garmi hai it's because it's obviously hyderabad hyderabad so there's it's not good sitting there cuz i lose more water already i finished drinking two bottles of gatorade and finished one gummy packet i need to finish all of this now come to a south indian restaurant where there's ac so i'm going to finish all this Before I finish squatting, I'll be done with 2.5 or 3 liter of Gatorade and 3-4 packets of gummy bear.